Ravens, brother. I speak to you from the beyond. Tassadar. But you died slaying this cursed overmind. I have never tasted death, Zeratul. Nor shall I. But that is a tale for another time. I have come to tell you of this creature's courage. Courage? It was an abomination. Not always. The Zerg were altered. A single overriding purpose was forced upon them. The destruction of our people. The Overmind was formed with thought and reason, but not free will. It screamed and raged within the prison of its own mind. Who did this? resist its all-consuming directive. It created a chance, a hope of salvation. The Queen of Blades. Madness. Only she can free the Zerg from slavery, and in so doing, save all that is. Understand, brother. Forget what you know, Zeratul. The Overmind saw a vision. The end of all things. And now, you must see it too. No. This vision. I cannot. Bear it! Stop! You look haunted. You've been seen into the spirit world, and you learned something you don't like. It's Kerrigan. Seems the Overmind made Kerrigan to free the Zerg. Something. It put him on a collision course with the Protoss. It's all gone wrong. Everything's twisted. And there's something out there that's set to destroy us all. Zerg. Protoss. He's a strong recess. How terrible. How powerful is something that plays with their feats? Damn, Matt. I don't even know what to make of this last vision from the crystal. Zeratul was looking for more clues about the end of the universe. But this time, he was on Ire. Ire? What was he looking for? He was trying to find out why the Overmind made the Queen of Blades in the first place. She's the one that's gonna destroy the universe? No. That's just it. I think she's the only one that can save it. I don't think I want to see any vision of the Overminds. Kerrigan's involved. Need to know. On a distant, shadowed world, the Protoss will make their final stand. Their heroes will gather. Their forces will be marshaled, and they will die bravely. But still,
Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the Shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so as one! And Taro Tassinar! Foolish, frightful children. There was one among you who could have jeopardized my great plan. But in your recklessness, you mistook her for the true threat. The Queen of Blades. How could we have known? Friend Raynor, you now bear witness to the truth. There is a malevolent presence within the void that seeks to destroy everything we hold dear. Could this fallen one be as El Naga? After so long, could the gods themselves seek our destruction? And Kerrigan. I can hardly believe the wretched Queen of Blades will prevent the destruction of all that we know. Raynor, you may soon hold Kerrigan's fate in your hands. I know only that she must live. Be wary, old friend. The Hounds of the Void are on the hunt. Damn, brother. You look like you could use a drink. I saw the last vision Zeratul put into the crystal. It was a look into the future. Final battle against the hybrid. Armageddon. Somehow, Kerrigan's the key to preventing it. Who knows how the wheel turns? Cycles upon cycles. This much I know. Those that see the future best take heed. It's both a gift and a curse. But is it cast in stone? That's what I need to know. Who knows? I've heard you say we are who we choose to be. If that be true, the future cannot be fixed. You look shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead. Killed by... us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. <laughs> 